It's a me again. <laughs> Same name, Dio. Hey guys, it's Kia again. I am back again with another video. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me once again. And if you're just passing by trying to see what I'm about, I really hope that you stay and you like it and you subscribe. As you guys can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a quick, not even a quick, because you guys know I have a lot to say. It's never quick over here. It's going to be a little updated Q&A as well as a life update all in one. I just want to get you guys back on track with where I am, where I've been, what's going on with me, just so that I can fully get back into the swing of things because that's really what I want to do. So without any further ado, let's get right into this video. I'm actually really excited, a little nervous to see the questions that you guys have for me. But at the same time, I feel like I really owe you guys that clarity. So I'm going to give you guys just that. As you guys can see, I have a little glass of, at this point, guys, Kia wine. I, like, I'm obsessed. Not, like, obsessed, but I do enjoy, like, having wine once in a while. It just, yeah. So I just figured, let me just bring a little something-something to this video. And you know what it is? Like, I'm going to be real honest because it's going to make me feel... This goose, goose. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let's get right into it. I try my little best not to like really look at the questions that you guys sent me because I did like that Instagram question thing. So I just took like screenshots without really reading the questions because I just wanted to be like a little surprised, you know. I did get a peek though, but nothing too hectic. So let's get right into it. Okay. I feel like I should just like start off by, you know, taking a soap. I've actually never had this wine before. It's so good. I took a gulp. That was not a sip. That was a gulp. Mm. It's really good. That was so good. Anyway, so the first question is how old are you? I am 22. I recently turned 22 on the 11th of Feb and it was actually the best birthday ever. Shout out to my friends for making it super special and my family. Super, super grateful for you guys. I love ya. But anyway, uh, let's see. Next question. Um, do I have a best friend? Yes, I do. I have a best friend. We've been friends for 10 years, if I'm not mistaken. I think we've been friends for 10 years. If it's not 10, it's 11. Yes. Her name is Bunny. Um, she is from Bloemfontein. Uh, her and I literally don't see each other quite often. But... Um, we see each other like when I'm back home in Bloemfontein and that's like not often so yeah but we have really maintained a really strong friendship like and she's literally like my ride or die I go to her for anything she comes to me for anything I'm so grateful for her in my life she has just held me down like in more ways than I would have expected her to do I mean in more, than, more ways than I would have expected a friend to you know what I mean so I'm super super grateful for her I mean she's always watching my videos so love you babe you're the realist okay how was 2020 for you so 2020 in a nutshell this is kind of like a life update so I'm just gonna tell you guys how I felt about 2020 like all together so 2020 was not my best year but at the same time it was it was such a fun time for me to be 21 and just living my life but also um, we're literally still living through a pandemic as we still are so a lot of things changed it was not easy 2020 was not easy at all but um, I really learned a lot I really did so I'm grateful for the year that was 2020 but um, and I wouldn't do anything differently um, I mean if I'm being completely honest only now I feel like I don't wish to do anything but like 
if in the beginning of the year if we had a chat about like 2020 i would have just told you about how i regret so many things but i'm choosing to trust the process i am fully aware that i am constantly evolving and learning about myself so i'm not always gonna basically make the best decisions for myself but also just being accepting of the fact that i'm constantly learning constantly evolving and with that means i make mistakes learn from them and carry on so it was literally the best year in the sense of i'll tell you guys about my highlights my highlights of 2020 was definitely being uh top 35 from the south africa that was really cool i it was such a like a a moment it was a really good and great moment for me it just felt like everything was coming full circle and it made sense for me at that point because it's something that i've always wanted to do and the fact that i made it that far just made me realize that it's like possible you know what i mean and like okay like this dream is like attainable you know what i mean and then like my favorite highlight of 2020 was just being on the cover of a magazine which at the time when everything was happening i didn't realize that this was like a childhood dream until i had gone through all the press and um radio interviews and all of that stuff that i had to do press related stuff for the magazine that i had to do and that's what it hit me once all of that had calmed down and i was like kind of slowly getting back into my normal life then it hit me like this was a childhood dream that literally came true and that just made me like just realize that like if you just set your mind to it and you align yourself in the path that you know you see fit and what with the vision that you want for yourself these things are attainable your dreams are attainable so that was also like a full circle moment me just realizing that these things can really come full circle like so that was super great for me i really like that was a highlight for me when it comes to 2020 i have really just decided to focus on the highlights and what how how good those things were because those were like some really pivotal moments in my life so that is great that's what i'm focusing on i'm not gonna think about the negative anymore it's okay it's in the past we move we learn and we do better and that's on period okay okay um how are you really how do you feel about your youtube channel at the moment how am i really thank you so much for asking at this point in my life i am good i'm good i i feel really um, I feel really good. I feel like things are starting to make sense to me for the longest time I was very uncertain about a lot of things what I wanted to even do with my life And that's why it was also so difficult for me to even come onto YouTube and create content Even on Instagram it was difficult for me to create content because I just felt really lost and confused But at this point in my life, I'm starting to feel like Okay, things are making sense. I'm slowly like working towards the things that i really want to do and the reason why i started um this youtube channel this um my instagram page and everything i'm working towards the end goal for the reason why i started so that is making me feel like i am slowly um figuring out my purpose on this earth um, or for this season of my life rather because I strongly believe that our purpose changes in every season of our life so yeah I feel good thank you for that question and I'm very grateful I went through a rough patch recently um, where I was just I was just like I was just going through it but like I'm just grateful that I was able to get myself out of that I did that and also just by surrounding myself with people who love and care for me so but at the same time I just want to give myself a pat on the back for getting myself out of that so yeah I feel good and how do I feel about my YouTube channel I definitely feel like my YouTube channel could be bigger of course if I was um, if I was just like being more consistent and all of that that's me just being completely honest a completely different headspace so I just feel like I can really just focus and make sure that I just continue to grow but I'm super super grateful for all my subscribers and where I am and with everything that I've produced thus far when it comes to my YouTube channel because it was really like just me being true to me so as long as I'm authentic and true to me that's all that matters so I'm really happy with my YouTube channel at the moment but it's only gonna get better and bigger period bigger and better okay so stay tuned subscribe on because a lot is coming okay it's gonna be lovely <laughs>
there's a lot of random Christians here that aren't like life updatey. You know what I mean? Like they're not like life update type vibe. Okay, here's another one. What are your plans after Varsity? So quick life update when it comes to my Varsity life and everything. Um, 2020 was not the best year for me academically if I'm being completely honest. And that in itself was just like a shock for me um, because I am a really good student. I have performed really well since my high school days all the way going into um, Varsity. So it was just very difficult when I got to a point where I had lost all motivation for school, varsity, um, my course, what I was studying, I just, I just couldn't do it and I couldn't pull myself out of that depressive phase. Um, and that was a very hard time for me. And I've never felt so low in my life because of that. And then I just, because of how low I felt with school and um, how demotivated I was I just slipped into a very depressive phase and I just couldn't understand why I couldn't like motivate myself anymore why I wasn't excited about what I'm studying anymore when I loved it so much you know so it's still something I can't even tell you why I don't know what happened but um, it wasn't the best year academically so I had to carry over some of my modules um, into this year which is something I have made peace with, I'm okay with and I'm just like really okay with the fact that certain things aren't going to happen on my time, they will happen when you know they're supposed to and yes um, also just me taking accountability that I just couldn't pull myself out of the phase that I was in um, but also just understanding that it, it be like that sometimes you just can't explain like you don't know you just don't know what happens sometimes so yeah it was difficult guys i cried a lot because it's just like how can i not like want to do this anymore this is like the main reason why i came to johannesburg why i wanted to you know why i came to joburg my parents sent me to joburg so that i can you know get this degree and then go about my life and I just lost all motivation for everything and I couldn't bring myself to do the things I needed to do. Very tough. But one thing about this girl, she gonna get herself back up and she gonna get this degree and that's on period. So I just carried over a few of my modules into this year and I'm very determined to finish and you know, just get my degree and be a degree honey, okay, period. But also at the same time, because like my, um, what can I say, my, my school schedule isn't so hectic, I can pursue the things I really want to pursue. Um, I have some really exciting projects coming out this spring, I'm gonna say spring. Uh, I have a really exciting project coming out this spring that I am currently working on. So that's super exciting. Like I'm just, I'm, I'm grateful as much as it's so like it feels like a setback but it's like i needed that so that i could be motivated to even more motivated to just finish and do extra well and then also put in a hundred percent into other projects so that's a little background story so yeah let's look at something else um Why did you enter Miss South Africa? Okay, so basically I entered Miss South Africa because it was one of those things that I've always wanted to do. I just always used to envision my highest self. Like I always, like even going into Miss South Africa, um, if you guys are following my journey, my, my, what can I say? My motivation was this quote that says, visualize your highest self and constantly show up as her. So when I visualized my highest self, it was Miss South Africa. Like the simple reason why I entered Miss South Africa, like fact of the matter, straight to the point is because it was a childhood dream and I wanted to see if I could do it. So when I was of age, I just went ahead and did it. And um, so it was just like, okay, cool, I did it, <laughs> you know? And I also just believed in myself. I believed that if I were to put, if I were to be put on that platform, I would definitely be able to step up to the plate and do what is ex expected of me or even more. So um, I think uh, it was just it was just a moment. It was a moment. 
so i'm i'm very very glad i did it um do i think i will do it again right now it's not something i want to do because i'm focused on other things maybe in a few years it will be a different chat but right now it's not something i really want to do um i just want to focus on just enjoying my 20s early 20s rather and you know learning and growing so maybe in a few years time i'll probably enter my south africa again but for right now i'm good love enjoy okay what would you name this current phase in your life hmm i like that that's a good question i like that i like that okay i like that um this phase of my life i would name it confidently lost hmm i listen to a lot of sabrina claudio so if you do too you'll get it so confidently lost is like i am evolving so i don't necessarily know what's coming but i'm working towards something so because it's not entirely clear it's like i'm lost but i'm still feeling confident in myself i feel very good in this phase of my life i feel whole i feel good i feel like i'm i have all that i need to get myself to where i want to be where i see myself so it's like it's like I feel confidently lost but at the same time I know it's just because I'm like evolving you know so it's like it's like a good feeling like I don't know what's yet what's to come I'm working towards things but at the same time I'm just like good <laughs> that's literally just how I feel I just feel good <laughs> I just don't know how to explain myself like I don't know but I hope you guys get it please describe yourself in three different ways I would say multifaceted, confident, um multifaceted, confident and hmm I don't want to say ambitious cuz everyone's ambitious. Um multifaceted, confident and beautiful. Hot <laughs> okay the main focus in 2021 is to be hot everything else will fall into place if you're hot trust me try it focus on being hot go to the gym look good take nice pictures all those things you know what i mean like just chop lifestyle you know what i mean if you can you know like i'm not going to like push anyone to do that but i'm just saying like if you have the means to go ahead chop lifestyle look good go to the gym do wholesome things be hot while you at it just watch how things fall into place don't say i never told you this life tip i'm telling you trust me daddy trust me um have you ever been bullied? I actually have like I, I don't want to call it bullying but it's like it was back in high school. Girls just didn't like me and they just didn't like me because I was confident as hell and nobody could really tell me like anything. It's like I just didn't seek validation from anyone. I was very just like sure of myself. Um not in a cocky way, just my self awareness was on steroids and um yeah, but it wasn't even like bullied. It was more like hate. But you know, God bless their soul. They were going through something. Like <laughs> they was going through something and I mean, maybe I also did things that were like just wrong. I don't know. I don't know. But it's fine. Like I don't want to say bullied. It was just like a just a very uncomfortable phase of like people just being against me but like eh you know what i mean whatever mm. my pet peeve guys my pet like guys i literally just hate everything i hate everything like i'm the worst person to ask like what do i not like i just everything just gives me the ache everything is just like why are you gonna do that like mm. like you know what i mean i'm just like well, it's not even like i i show that to people i really won't I just know like there's things in Bogal and it don't bore and I'm not going to act like hadim bore like I just be knowing but I'm not going to tell people like I let people have it but not there's so many things let me think let me think of one I hate liars I hate lies I hate your mm, top of the list I can't I can't I can't I can't what's it like having such a gorgeous twin girl I love it so much. This is Tati by the way, guys. <laughs> Girl, I love it so much. Have you guys seen my twin? You guys must check out IG at Tati underscore XO. Period. That's my girl. Do I have any pets? I hate pets. Like I hate anything that's not human. Like 
why are you not like human no i don't have pets i would never have a pet never i don't like it how long have you had your dreadlocks guys and my friend dogozo put this thing on here on purpose because she knows how i feel about this question she knows she knows guys i've had my dreadlocks for about 16 17 years if i could put this on my forehead i would i would if i could put i've had my dreadlocks for 16 or 17 years i'll put it on my forehead because i get i don't know how many times people ask me that thing and then bora yo do you believe in true love i do hey like i really do i love love guys i really love love and like i went through a phase where i was like i believe in love but like for everyone and not myself and that was a lie like i believe in love i believe in love for myself i, I believe in true love like that can really happen for you i definitely do i do this is like not even like an updated q a it's just like random questions i think that's so cool anyway uh, a tough realization recently Ooh, a tough realization I had <laughs> that deserves a sip because child when loving someone it's very easy to get to a point where you forget to choose yourself because you're so focused on loving them right but that doesn't guarantee that they will choose you forever that was a tough realization a very tough realization or not even choose you but prioritize you and protect you hmm that was tough but like yeah <laughs> um how do i feel about like negative comments you know i don't feel anything for negative comments hey if that's how you feel and that's your energy and you feel the need to say it to someone else and that's a little sad you know but like for me personally they don't affect me i'm just like hey man that's about you yeah i don't think negative comments shake me because i've just realized that like people just expose how they feel about themselves with negative comments because if you can go about like out of your way to try and make somebody else feel bad that just highlights how you feel about you like you know what i mean i don't know if that makes sense but it highlights how you feel about yourself like your innermost feelings that the fact that you have that in you and you can express it to someone else is just like you know what i mean so <laughs> yeah literally uh <laughs> how do you feel about men i know you've always hated them <laughs> that's a funny question <laughs> child i feel nothing for men like i just feel nothing for them like i just don't feel when it comes to men i don't feel like <laughs> like they just they're just so whack bro like you're just always just like how do you think this makes sense like does this make sense to you like how do you balance it like does, does that make sense so I just don't feel when it comes to men, I feel nothing. I just want them to be there. I just want men to admire me from afar and leave me alone. <laughs> That's all I feel for men. <laughs> okay, I'm at that next. You know what I realized? Growing up, um, me growing up made me realize that you guys know if you guys are an, if you're like an og subscriber you will know i'm all about self-love and all of that so with growing up and all of that this is just like on the topic of men and whatever but anyway with growing up um my self-love is also just evolving in that way because as i grow up i realize that um i was in a phase where i was just like i don't need anybody i just need me da, 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 da. but what's growing up is just like i can't self-love my way out of wanting a companion or wanting to be with someone or wanting to be loved and you know appreciated so that was a really like a really cool realization and then also then me hurling myself into things like you know what i mean and people so that was that was cool and i just think it's it's also like really dope that i'm able to that i'm aware enough or present enough to realize those changes in my journey never-ending journey of self-love 
like it's just it's really cool i think that's really cool <laughs> How's majority of the dating since I heard you mention your man's in one of your vlogs? Child, I'm single now. <laughs> yes, I did mention a man in like, like, you know, my previous vlogs. But like, you know how life be in a relationship one day, out of a relationship, single, in a relationship. It be like that. <laughs> it, it really be like that. But yeah, <laughs> that's like really all I have to say. But It's so funny to me. <laughs> I think it's just my answer that's killing me. How do I maintain my body? Mm. Lots of wine. <laughs> jokes, jokes, jokes. Um, how do I maintain my body? To be quite honest, I recently just started going back to gym. Uh, but honestly, like I can't even lie to you guys. I really just eat nonsense. Eh? One thing about me, I eat nonsense and uh, I'm just grateful that I have really good genes. So I meet the genes halfway by working out sometimes. So, but I need to be more intentional and I plan to be more intentional. Um, of, like when it comes to working out and taking care of my body because like I need to love my body, you know, I really need to love my body because it loves me. The fact that I'm still moving and alive and kicking means that my body loves me. So I need to love it back. You get me? There's it. What happened between you and K Republic? We really just had a fallout, like just like how things happen. Oh, people yes. really like, you know, we just had a fallout, and like it's fine. People move on. It's it's perfectly fine. No hard feelings. Like we're good. Why don't you post your man? <laughs> Which man? Point me in the direction of my man, please. <laughs> shock me don't shock me don't shock me don't shock me also guys i would just never post my man why do i have to post my man if he has his own social media why do i have to post my man if he's my man and i'm with him in real life why am i posting him no that's my man if i had a man if the if is important if <laughs> this is so funny to me What's the best thing that's ever happened to you? I think to date, the best thing that's ever happened to me is being on the cover of a magazine. Like, what? This face was on a magazine cover? That's crazy to me. Like, that's just, that's just crazy to me. Like, I'm just like, yo, that was a childhood dream. Like, I would look at magazines and be like, that's gonna be me one day. And it happened. I don't know about you, but like, if that's not God, like i don't know what is but like shout out to the man above because without him none of this stuff would be possible so that's the best thing that's happened to me to date i know great things are coming though and that's on period cheers sis. great things are happening and coming for you too okay period <laughs> guys you guys you guys shock me every day how is it dating a celebrity which one? Which one? Which 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 one? <laughs> Don't shock me. <laughs> which celebrity? <laughs> Yo, Oaks, you guys actually really shocked me. But anyway, it is what it is. How's 2021 for you so far? Okay, 2021 has been a roller coaster, but I feel really good about this year. I feel like right now, more than anything, I, guys, I was going through it, okay? Like, I was going through it, but like, I even went through a phase of just feeling like I can't even recognize myself anymore because I was just like in a situation that just shocked me. Like, it, it was shocking. Like, everything was just like, what is this, honey? But genuine chat, um, I'm at a point where I'm just like, I feel like me again and I'm actively working towards feeling and just feeling like myself completely and also just doing the things that make me happy, um, choosing myself like you know what I mean like I always say like with everything it's like it's such a journey like nothing is ever like super simple we learn as we go so I've just been 
it's been crazy but I, I feel really good about this year I'm being very intentional about going after the things I want and I'm very hopeful and more than anything I'm also just grateful that I'm at this point right now I, I'm so grateful to God I'm grateful to my mom for always holding me down I'm also just grateful to my friends for supporting me um, and being there for me so one more time I'm super grateful to my mom I know she'll be watching this I'm super grateful for you mama you are amazing and you are love personified I'm not gonna cry <laughs> yeah i mean i just love that woman she's like she is hectic she's just a hectic hectic brood <laughs> you know what i mean i love her she's amazing um but anyway so i just feel really good and grateful i'm so grateful i'm just grateful anyway my celebrity crush child mm. my celebrity crush my my celebrity crush at the moment it's Wizkid. Guys, 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 listen. No, Wizkid and Ovi Soko. Mm. Child, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Mm, 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 mm. There is absolutely nobody for Wizkid and Ovi Soko. You see those two, my fighters. What? Guys, guys, let me tell you, if Wizkid, if Wiz, if I dated Wizkid and Wizkid cheated on me, you know I'm apologizing. I'm going to apologize and I'm going to say, baby, I am sorry you thought I deserved that. Let's talk about this. Let's fix things. Because, wait, okay, guy, where are you going? Because you're my man. You are my man. Like, you're mine. Mumaina. Where are you going? Please. Wow, guys, there's nobody for Wizkid. The way he dresses, I'm sure he smells like money also. Love him. Honestly. Obsessed. Okay, guys, so we've reached the end of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I tried my little best to go through most of the questions and also just give you a life update in between. I really hope you enjoyed that and that you guys are on track with what's going on with the girl. You know what I mean? There's more videos coming for you guys, more collabs. I'm super excited for you guys to see all that. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Clink, clink. And that's on period. That's on period. That's on period. That's on period. Period, 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 period.